The St. John's Orphanage, also known as the Goulburn Boys Orphanage, was once a place of fear, hardship, and abuse for the young children who lived there. This church-run institution was located in Goulburn, New South Wales, Australia, and from 1912 to 1978, over 2,500 children, many of whom were not true orphans, were forced to endure a life of grueling manual labor and religious education. The conditions at the orphanage were bleak and unforgiving. The children were subjected to harsh punishments such as beatings, cold showers, and being locked in their rooms. They were given meager meals with limited access to medical attention. The education offered was limited to religion and Latin, and only the brightest students were allowed to continue their studies past the fifth grade. In the repeated abuse the children faced, not only from the staff, but also from older residents. The orphanage was a place of fear and terror, where the young boys were subjected to unimaginable suffering. Despite the efforts of the church to provide a safe and nurturing environment for the children, the St. John's Orphanage has become known for its dark and troubled past. After its closure in 1978, the property was purchased by businessman John Ferrara. Today, the abandoned building serves as a haunting reminder of the injustices that took place within its walls. The property has been heavily vandalized and has become a popular destination for ghost tours due to reports of paranormal activity. Visitors to the site have reported hearing the sounds of crying children, footsteps, voices, and even ghostly apparitions of both children and nuns. One paranormal investigator had a very chilling experience at this orphanage. A lady named Joe made a visit to the infamous St. John's Orphanage, also known as the Goulburn Boys Orphanage. Joe was a seasoned ghost hunter and had heard the rumors of strange and otherworldly sightings at the location. As she entered the decrepit building, Joe was immediately struck by the eerie atmosphere that seemed to permeate the air. The only sounds she could hear was howling of the wind outside. As she made her way down a long dark hallway, she suddenly heard strange noises coming from one of the rooms. Jo cautiously approached the door and peered inside, only to be met by an otherworldly sight. In front of her, she saw what appeared to be the ghostly apparitions of several children playing. Their laughter echoed throughout the room, but as soon as Jo tried to step closer and lift up her camera to get a closer look, the apparitions disappeared into thin air. Suddenly, she heard a ghostly voice whisper in her ear, Get out now. Jo realized it was time to go and she quickly fled the building, but she will never forget the strange and haunting experiences she had encountered at the St. John's Orphanage. And another scary unexplainable series of events happened to Brody on his visit to the orphanage. Here is Brody's unsettling story. I was always fascinated by old, abandoned buildings, and the St. John's Orphanage was no exception. The history of the place was shrouded in mystery, with rumors of past abuse and neglect. But I was determined to see it for myself, to learn the truth about what had happened there. So I made the journey to Goulburn, and stood outside the dilapidated building. The windows were boarded up, and the door hung off its hinges, but I was still filled with excitement. I stepped inside, and immediately, I was hit by the smell of damp and decay. As I walked down the hall, I started to hear whispers. Soft voices, talking in hushed tones. At first, I thought I was imagining things, but the whispers grew louder, more insistent. I couldn't make out the words, but I knew that someone was there, in the darkness. Suddenly, a headache exploded in my head, a searing pain that made me gasp. I stumbled, and for a moment, I was dizzy and disoriented. And then I heard the screams. Terrible piercing screams, like nothing I had ever heard before. They seemed to come from all around me, from the darkness that surrounded me. I was paralyzed with fear, and for a moment, I couldn't move. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. The whispers were gone, and the screams had faded away. I was left alone, in the silent darkness. I ran out of the building, my heart pounding in my chest. I didn't look back, 
didn't stop until I was miles away. And even now, years later, I still remember the fear I felt in that old building, the whispers and screams that still haunt me in my dreams to this day. And here is another eyewitness account from the orphanage. As the sun began to set, I and my friend approached the abandoned St. John's Orphanage, also known as the Goulburn Boys Orphanage. We had heard the rumors of strange noises and ghostly sightings, but we were determined to explore and find the truth for ourselves. But as we got closer, I noticed a dim light in one of the upper windows. I squinted to see better, and I realized that the light was forming the shape of a child, standing still and staring back at us. My friend and I were frozen in fear, and as the wind began to pick up, we heard the faint sound of a child's laughter. Panic set in, and we realized that we were not alone. We turned and ran as fast as we could, not stopping until we were safely away from the orphanage. The thought of the ghostly child only made us run faster. From that day forward, my friend and I never returned to the St. John's Orphanage, and we warned others of the ghostly child who still haunts the building to this day. The ghostly sightings and unexplained events continue to occur at the abandoned orphanage, leaving visitors with an eerie and unforgettable experience. So err with caution if you do decide to visit this haunted location. Thanks for watching Scary Ghost Stories.